So welcome ladies and gentlemen, so today we're going to do a little bit of defending discussion and also how I would set up playing one of the better teams in the demo as opposed to with one of the worst. Alright, so we're going to we're going to take on Bayern Munich because I feel like they have a very good attacking tactical side. They're set up better in this demo than other teams. And we're going to be playing as the worst team in the demo. Only two and a half star. Half as good as Bayern with Vasco de Gamma. Now, I'm going to be discussing what I feel would be the best way to set up against someone like Bayern Munich. And also talk about fouls and everything else once we do get into the game itself. So... Uh, let's go into the formation screen here and set things up first of all and make sure it's all running smoothly. So we're going to put Raul a little bit deeper, right? We're going to put him in the hole. Uh, we are playing with random conditions. I put it on purely for the fact that I think it might be a little bit more interesting. Obviously, a couple of players are down, which is not the greatest, and that's not going to help me, but something we'll have to deal with. Uh, who else do we have? It's no, one, no one up in the middle? No one's up in the middle. All right, we'll play uh, Valdivia right there. Um, we could play this guy on the right-hand side. Ceceres. Now nah, he hasn't got as much pace as this dude, so we'll definitely leave him alone up top. Uh, I've got that guy's up for it. Bruno on the left. Okay, so we'll do that. So, I'm going to play like this. So, we're going to play sort of a 4-5-1-ish. Playing by, and you've got to uh, definitely set up properly. So, let's talk about the advanced instructions and how I would go about doing this. First of all, defensive, I put that on, and I'd stick it on Raul. I don't want him running up the field. I want him to stay there. I want him to contain himself uh, and uh, just sort of shuffle around the midfield and do his job. Uh, defensively, what are we going to be doing? Well, I would say tight mark. What this will do is the marker switches, depending on the position. If you do man mark on someone like Lewandowski, it's going to pull out the centre defender's center backs if he makes a little bit of a run to the left to the right we don't know where he's going to play so i'm going to do tight marking on robert lewandowski uh, and then i'm going to go into the mark settings and i'm going to man mark coleman and man mark nabry all right that's my mission right there and that's what we're going to go for uh what else can we possibly do i'm going to give this a shot i don't even know if this is going to work out but i'm going to try it. i'm going to man mark um his players Alaba man marked as well as Kimmich purposely because if they get the ball I want to be right up the back side of them trying to win it back as fast as I can um, elsewhere do I want to do any other tactics I don't think deep defensive line is the best option here we'll leave it swarm the box we could do but then you know players are all congregated in the middle Gigan press obviously is not going to work when it comes to attacking we could play anchoring through the middle um, but, you know, nothing else really for me is sort of screaming. You have to play. Could play a false number nine, um, which is going to drop the center forward back. So let's try that, actually. Let's drop him in the hole and see what we can do there. Player settings. I always like to make sure if we ever do get a corner out of this, get those center backs going forward. Uh, but for, for the most part, that's pretty much how I would set it up. Um, actually, one thing we do want to do is do this. So we'll play counter-attack. I don't want to play possession against Bayern Munich. I want to get the ball from A to B as quick as I can. We could play short passes, or we could get the players to create the space. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Um, we'll play down the middle because we've got three center mids pretty much, and we'll keep the support range neutral. When it comes to defensively, I'm going to play all out defense. Uh, contain them out wide because we are a man marking, so we'll generally want to get the ball off them when we can. Pressure. Aggressive, yes. I wouldn't play conservative with all that defense because you are going to pretty much become deeper and deeper and deeper, and it's not probably the best idea. Defensive line, leave it, and compactness, compactness I'm going to leave it alone as well. So that's generally how I would set it up. Some of you may be different, of course. Some of you may not, but that's what we're going to go for. We're going to try and contain this Bayern Munich side. We're on Superstar, and uh, we're going to be playing with a stadium camera. I'm not a huge fan of playing with, with the broadcast one. It's just too close for me. I like to be able to see what's going on, but we'll zoom in a tad. Anyway, be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts of how you would defend. We'll talk about it in-game. Hopefully not embarrass myself, but either way, it's Pez 2020. 
and it's game time. So here we go, let's see what happens. There's uh, Manuel Neuer, of course, captains Bayern Munich. We're not going to mess around too long. We're just going to dive right into this one. And away we go. So let's try and defend and uh, also sort of compare it to Pez 2019. Obviously, I just had my Master League yesterday. And uh, it's just so, so different. Already the pace is completely different between the two games. So we'll let Bayern Munich have possession. I I'm fine with that. And obviously, I'm going to drop players deeper and make sure we can try and stay with them. Well, there's their first problem already. So we're going to just backtrack, try and let our other teammate AI do what they can as the ball is delivered in. And we can possibly get this now and just try and work it forward. Nice little dink ball over the top. We'll take the foul ref all day, and that'll do nicely. See, I think fouling this year, you have to be smart as well. I do think it still does need tweaking, but I also feel like because the physicality's been improved, it does make you have to defend a lot smarter than before. And if you do silly things like diving in, it's going to be a bit of an issue. Now, we're playing on basic passing oh, and shooting. Pass support one, by the way. We've put it back to, to default because otherwise I will get absolutely battered here. And uh, let's see what we can do here with Enrique. We've got to play this inside. We haven't got much movement. Lovely play there. Skip past the first chance. I don't know, see that? I don't know how that's not a foul. Oh, he has brought it back. Okay, fair enough. I was going to say there. Definitely clipped me, ref. But nice play by Enrique. Just nip past him. So, we do have a free kick. Bruno Cesar is a 79. So, he probably doesn't have the best whip in the world. So we're not going to put too much bend on this one. And that's too easy. And I do think that's something that needs to be addressed, isn't it? Because, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't think it is. I do think people score a lot of free kicks. I mean, he's a 79 there. He's not the greatest free kick taker in the world. And it also wasn't, you know, that far into the corner. I don't know what Neuer's playing at, but... Uh, all right, now we could play defensive. Of course, you can use the directional buttons to do that if you want. And then when you get the ball, pretty much get your players to move forward. So now we'll keep a bit of possession, even though I said I was going to play counter-attack. See, I could go ahead and change now and see what we could do. Anyway, being dispossessed a little bit sloppily there. So now we're going to see what we can do. Here comes Komen. I'm going to actually bring that other player across and I'm going to cover the middle in case this ball gets whipped in. Well played, Luis Gustavo. He's done well there. Referee's played the advantage. The ball is delivered in. We know Lewandowski is a threat. Comes back out to Xavi Martinez. Floated out wide. And the referee uh, has decided to bring it back for the foul. I mean, that was my own fault for diving in. Uh, just a little bit too quickly here. See, I didn't have to do it. Careless. So obviously I'm going to take the goal control of the goalie. L1 and L, uh, L1 and R3, just in case. And now they're going to work it outside. Laid inside, delivered over the top. We've got plenty of players back in the, uh, the mixer. And there is the chance, comes off the post. And we just clear it away. A little bit fortunate there. The goalie applauding purely for the, the defending, but you know, maybe we, we may have to change tactics because we are leading and we're still playing quite defensive. But I'm going to leave it for the time being just to see what Bayern Munich do. Now, we're going to go for man marking. Obviously, they're playing the short one. I don't know why I've got two players coming over, so we'll uh, switch players. Just try and stay up with him. Well, he didn't do very well, but well done. Now we'll stick a foot in. And instead of, uh, well, pretty much rushing, we'll get the boys to um, take our time. And away we go now with Enrique. Fill it up the line. That's fair enough. They're so slow, though. It really is a, a different story when you're playing with the likes of uh, a team like Vasco da Gama. Silly place to lose it. 
Now watch Lewandowski's run. There it is. Now do we bring the goalie out? I was going to bring him out. He's laid it across, but you see the man marking there on uh, Coman is the reason why he's stuck with him. We are under the cosh. Fed through the middle. Well played. Get a foot in there. Now we've got a chance to break. We don't have anyone up the line, but we've got a chance here if we can feed it quickly. Nicely worked. Bruno Cesar. Start again. Now we do have the cover. We're playing that defensive role, so certain players are not going to make the runs. We'll play that up the line first time. And that'll basically force Bayern Munich to just smash it clear, but they've done quite well. They've fed it up the line. Now, we're going to back away from him here. We're going to bring in the Team AI. There it is again. Well played. Wins it back. Swing that round the other way. If we can take a call, oh, that was a chance there. Well, the referee says that's fine. Now, a little bit of movement. Who's this, Pikachu? Well, that is a name and a half, and we might as well have a strike with him. We're getting the ball more often with Pikachu if he hits him like that. But they've taken him quickly. That's fine. So now we'll drop players back. That's a good ball up the line. We're going to slide in on this one. I oh, know that's fine. I'll give the foul away there because we were lacking a little bit of cover. Yeah, we've got a yellow card. Pika Pika goes into the book. I mean, it was a 50-50 there. I don't know why he didn't slide with his right foot, but it is what it is. All right, so we're going to drop off a little bit deeper just in case this does get fizzed in towards the back post. Good punch by the goalie, but we've got to close down real quickly now. Bit of super cancel action there. And now we've actually got a chance to swing it. Pikachu. Feed that one up the line. Now, obviously, I'm not doing much dribbling because I've still got to get that in my system. I haven't really played with the right analog stick a whole lot. So Bayern Munich, they're still playing quite defensive. Letting me play football. Coming up to the 35-minute mark. We might as well just keep the ball here because there's no threat. Let's see what we can do. Start again. Now we can feed that out wide to Enrique. Feed that back inside. Feed it off. Skip past the challenge. We can go around the other way, but there's the loose pass that we've given away. Now it's a sloppy place to give it away, purely for the fact there's the through ball. But we're going to defend by pushing players back. And now we're going to dive in. But we skip past the first challenge and... Well, that was credit to Coleman. Nice play by him there. Because I went for broke. Needed some cover. He missed that challenge. Great feet by him. Just couldn't hit the frame. 40 minutes gone. Still have the slight lead. I don't know, second half if we switch it up. So let's see what we can do now. We're back away from Nabry. Oh, there we go. Well played. Just sort of read the pass. Feed that out wide. Feed it in. Given goes on. We're going to go back the other way real quickly. Play it across. Nicely worked. Andre. Overlapping run. Enrique. Feed it back inside. It's patient play. We don't need to rush. That's the thing. We're leading. Flick it off. Oh, it's fallen nicely back towards him. And oh, it was a chance. Remember, we are playing that false nine, so that means... And all we have now, and now we have a problem. We're going to get the AI to come across and help us defend this. And be careful of Robert Lewandowski. And the chance! Ah, that's my own fault, really, wasn't it? I mean, that's where the AI are a little bit smarter now, because they do think about, you know, where players are in the middle. I, I could have done a lot better there. You know, I am used to using teammate contain an awful lot. And that's what I was using. I let the teammate come in. He missed the initial challenge right here. And then, yeah, it was just too slow to react. So second half, we'll mix this up. There is half time, actually. What a time to score. So it's 1-1. As much as we did score, of course, from a free kick. But the second half, let's, let's tactically change this now and and go a little bit more possibly gun-ho. We have had more possession than them. So, if we uh, mix this up, and we'll play now front-line pressure, so 
We'll play a little bit more and we'll actually switch it. Let, let's completely switch tactically what we're playing and see how things work out. If you see any difference in the way things go, I'm going to take off false nine. Um, I'm going to leave tight marking and defensive though because I feel like those are musts. And uh, yeah, let's just dive right into this second half. And see what we can do. So we're not going to play attacking. You can see Bayern Munich are. We're going to try and move the ball a little bit quicker when we can. Actually, we have space out wide. That's a lovely ball over the top. And Bayern Munich here have been caught. But well played, Kimmich. Got back quickly. That's a poor place to give it away. Now there's an overlapping run. Because Bayern Munich plays such a high line, though. They're not going to come back and defend, pretty much. And now we have a chance to play this across the turf. There is a lot of players in there. Can we win the header? No. I don't want to lose it there, though. So it would be a sloppy... That's, that's not what I asked to do. All right. Now we'll just uh, back away from Komen. Feeds it across. Oh, look at the space around the other side. That's the issue we have. And the referee's given the free kick because... That all stemmed from a shaky, shaky ball. Is that Pikachu? You don't want to be sending him off. Yeah, Lewandowski could have switched that, and I thought he was going to. But he didn't. All right, so from this kind of range, you're going to take control of the goalie. It's a no-brainer. We're going to see what the goalie can do. Very comfortable save by him. And we'll just dish this out. But look at that touch. It was a little bit risky. Well played. Good physical strength there, but unable to keep it on. That's a, a shaky pass by Komen. Now, when you play Master League, we know it's going to be very much a different game. That's a lovely switch. All right, now make the run. Feed it off. You know, because Master League is different. The matches do definitely seem harder. Sloppy place by me there. Right, here comes Nabry. Now, we're just going to run down the line with him. Oh, he's fed that through nicely. Quickly get on his heels. Well done. Just clear it away. That's where I'm very, well, guilty. It's a good-looking ball again of sometimes, literally, instead of clearing it, I'll try and walk it in. There, right there. Prime example. And then it costs you goals. Ball over the top. Once again, we're looking shaky. That's fine. That should be a goal kick. And yes, it is. So we're going to pull our defenders in. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to smash this on this side of the field. And that is a peach of a pass. You can often do that on pairs. It's been a, a thing for quite a while. We can actually probably swing this round the other way here. Chance to feed it up the line. Bruno Cesar. And we're going to skip past him. But well done, Kimmich. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. All right, up Lewandowski's backside. Well done. We're not giving him the time of day now. Yeah, once again, the referee gives the foul. Is it a free kick? Let's have a look. So he actually won it, but I don't know. So I think it's... It is the new physicality to have in the game. Sometimes it gets a little bit confused. And as long as we're not being given away, you know, silly penalties, I don't mind the odd foul being given. All right, let's see what they can do. Feeds it through. Now we quickly get on it. Well done. Feeding up the line. Can definitely feed that on. That's a fine challenge there. Nothing wrong with it. Now just stay with him. Stay with him. Well done. Use the strength. Chance to swing this round now. Just hold him off. Nicely done. Now we can go around the other way. You can see Bayern Munich players, some of them, they're not interested in coming back. We've got to make the most of it, because they will counter very, very quickly. And right, now we go around the other way. Pikachu. Overlapping run. Oh, it's a good-looking ball. Oh, so close. It is still quite hard, though, isn't it? Just to get in behind. And now the issue arises of, um, well, pretty much Komen being on his own. I don't want him to play it through, but well done. Now, actually, we have a chance to break yet again. Lovely ball. And that's a free kick. We'll take that night and day. I'm actually going to take the quick one here. Swing it round. 
Chance for the overlapping run. Pikachu. I'm not going to get bored of saying that. That's a fantastic ball in. There's the volley, but there's the difference of fluffing the attempt. Maybe it should have took a touch. The ball was dropping. Not the easiest situation to hit it. And yeah, just, just fluffed it. So he probably should make a change at some point. But right now, relatively happy. Here comes Saul. The line to Nabry. Got to stay with him. Here he goes, but we've got cover. That's fine. I've got two players over there now. Took a deflection, and that's what you want. Just a little bit of cover. You need that cover. And there's actually a chance to just swing this forward. Manuel Neuer is miles out of his goal. So we put a little bit more pressure on this half, which has caused us to create a couple of chances. Now, Coleman, let's see what he can do. Let's just hold him up, hold him up. Obviously, if he plays it up the line, but look, it took too long, playing around with it. I played the wrong pass there as well, actually. Playing it inside, stupid ball. Never do that. If in doubt, just smack it out. I don't know why the ref's given the foul for this one, because I thought we won it. He came out. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of an elbow, isn't it? A little bit of an elbow. So let's have a look at some changes that we could possibly make here. What with players looking a little bit tired. Can actually play this guy on the right-hand side. So we'll put in there. Andre's looking a bit tired as well. Let's put Bastos in there. And Pikachu. So we'll put him there. Pika, 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 Pika. Let's put this guy on the flank. All right, so we'll make three changes. Three changes, boys. Now, I'm not going to take control of the goalie because I feel like Lewandowski isn't going to hit this. He's just going to kind of float it in there. It's a good header. Now, you've got to be sure you've got to mark him quickly. That's a heavy touch, but Saul did well just to keep it. Fed up the line. If he delivers this in, we have got problems. And that's where just clear it, just clear it, just clear it. Quickly get on them. So now we're on the back foot here. I'm going to get the AI to come in and possibly close them down, but that's fine. We'll take that all day. And now we'll slow it down. As we have got nine minutes to play. Right, there's an overlapping run here up the line. Lovely ball. A lovely ball, not ball. So we really haven't created a whole lot, but it's been rather difficult because we don't have the pace to really get in behind Bayern Munich. You can see the boys are... There it is again. I don't know what that's for, but we'll take that all day and we can actually just super cancel that. There we go. And let it run out of play. If you ever know, want to know how to super cancel, it's R1 and R2 together. I'm going to feed this back now. And there's a give and go. Up the line. Beautifully worked. And I'll tell you what, Manuel Neuer is actually out of his goal. Reverse pass. That was a little bit careless. Play that back again. Oh, referee, is that a good one? Yeah, yes, it is. Ferociousness. And that's a good ball. And now we have problems. It is Lewandowski, but great challenge. See, there it was. I didn't dive in. I took my time. And I'm actually going to rewind that one back and have another look at it. First of all, how's this for a challenge? Well, I guess you did get the ball. So it was fed up the line. There was the run. One of the offside. But what I did here with the defender is I literally decided to just cut him off. I didn't know he was going to cut in, but just his touch there, look at that. Perfectly timed by the defender to stick a foot in. Didn't even have to make the challenge. He literally ran into him and just poked it out. Fortunate, yes, but it worked. All right, so they're going for the short one. I really wish they would change this as well because it's kind of obvious what they're going to do. Oh, I lied because they're going to deliver it in. <laughs> All right, we have a chance here to possibly break. He's just come on. We'll feed that out wide. Final minute to play. Feed it off to him. That's a good challenge. All the way back to Manuel Neuer, who hasn't really done a whole lot today in this game. But if we can hold on here, it won't be a bad result. Even though, yes, we did score from a set piece. But these are just some of the tactics I would like to use against someone like Bayern. So there we have it, a 1-1.
just kind of showing how I would defend against a team that's double the stars. Vasco da Gama, not the greatest team in the world. Very difficult to keep the ball with them and actually move it forward because they don't have the pace. But I think for them only having five attempts, we had three. Not bad at all. Komen was your man of the match. Anyway, that is all for today. Uh, let me know your thoughts overall if you want to see something specific on PES 2020. I'm just trying to come up with new ideas for the time being as well as keep the Master League going as well. Uh, but I certainly think this year, defending, you have to play smart. Diving in will not work out too well for you. Anyway, we'll be back shortly. Until next time, subscribe for more. Hit the like button and take care.